Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Wen. Here is the question. Find all pairs x, y of integers such that x to the power of three equals y to the power of three plus two times y squared plus one. We are going to introduce a special method to solve this question. Let's first consider y plus one to the power of three. Using the binomial formula, we have this result. When we write the right-hand side in terms of x to the power of three, this means we split the right-hand side into two parts. The first part is x to the power of three. This is the second part. We discuss y squared plus three y in two different situations, bigger than zero and less than or equal to zero. If y squared plus 3y is bigger than zero, this part is bigger than zero, y plus 1 to the power of 3 equals x to the power of 3 plus y squared plus 3y. This implies y plus 1 to the power of 3 is bigger than x to the power of 3. This is the first result. This is the given condition. Because 2y squared plus 1 is positive, therefore x to the power of 3 is bigger than y to the power of 3. This is the second result. Combining the two results, result one and the result two, we have y plus one to the power of three is bigger than x to the power of three. It's bigger than y to the power of three. Taking the third root on all three parts, then we have y plus 1 is bigger than x is bigger than y. Here, x and y are integers. y and y plus 1 are two consecutive integers. x is an integer. x is between the two consecutive integers. It is impossible. There is no integer x between two consecutive integers, x and the y, sorry, y and y plus one. Therefore, no integer pairs x, y satisfy this condition. If y squared plus three y is bigger than zero, Let's consider the second situation. If y squared plus 3y is less than or equal to zero. Factoring y out in the left-hand side of this inequality. Then we have y times y plus 3 is less than or equal to zero. How to solve this inequality? We can easily draw a graph to see the result. This is y squared plus 3y, like this. And here, what are zeros of the left-hand side? y equals 0, y equals negative 3. Now, we can easily see that this graph, when y is between negative three and zero, 
the curve is below zero, it's negative. Therefore, we have the following result. Y must be between negative three and a zero. Here, Y is an integer. Possible values of Y are negative three, negative two, negative one, and zero. We can replace Y values in this given equation to find X. From this given equation, we have x equals the third root of y to the power of 3 plus 2 y squared plus 1. Replace y by y values. Then we have the corresponding x values. Replace y by negative 3. We have x equals negative 2. Replace y by negative two, we have x equals one. Replace x by negative one. We imply x equals the third rule of two. When x, when y equals zero, x equals one. Because x is an integer, the third root of two is not an integer. Therefore, we only have three pairs of x, y satisfy this condition. Therefore, we only have three solution sets. x, y equals negative two, negative three, positive one, negative two, and one, zero. That's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.